Hey everyone, welcome back. In the last video, I showed you how you can use Keras OCR to detect text in the scenes, for example, in this image on the left-hand side, and then uh, and then just remove the text by inpainting and filling it with uh, an appropriate color, so the text is gone. Now, I forgot to show you one thing, which is how you can actually use color segmentation. I guess I covered that a couple of weeks ago. Uh, how to selectively remove text from certain backgrounds. For example, in this image, instead of removing text from the entire image, what if you just want to remove the text with this yellow or orangish background only, as you can see down here. Same with, uh, okay, this lady has a stack of books, but then you just want to remove the text from, for example, the ones that are with this light blue color shade, so that text is gone, but everything else is still here. So how do you selectively remove that? That is the focus of this tutorial. So please go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to this channel. And again, I uh, request you to hit the thanks button in case you feel extra generous and you feel like this channel is offering you enough value that definitely supports uh, my charities that I am supporting uh, in a, in a indirectly. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the code now. And uh, one other thing that I did not cover in the last video is to uh, give you a bit more information about Keras OCR because that is the library that I'm going to use for segmentation. And go ahead and Google search for Keras OCR. You'll probably find it. And uh, its installation is given right here, pip install Keras-OCR. I created new environment. I always create new environment whenever I install something new. Uh, I usually copy an existing one that's working and then add on top of it. So that's exactly what I have done right there. Okay, so uh, it worked very well for me. I, no tricks, nothing. And go ahead and look at look at uh, the documentation I covered in a, a video completely dedicated to this topic of Keras OCR. Uh, you know, text detection. But in this case, we are just not just detecting the text, we are identifying the regions of interest that it's reporting and then uh, and then inpainting it within the that specific region of interest. Yeah, again, I assume you watched my previous video, so I'll go a little faster in this one. Also, we are going to perform color segmentation. Hopefully you watched the video a couple of weeks ago. We are going to convert our RGB image into HSV space which is hue, saturation, and V right there. I forgot the definition of V. Sorry about that. Uh, but uh, hue and saturation is what we are going to control. Hue goes from 0 to 180. And as the name suggests, it's a hue. It changes the color. So as you go from red through orange through yellow, green, uh, blue, and so the entire, entire rainbow of colors, right? So we are going from 0 to 180. So if I want to selectively remove text from blue color, then I'm going to select something between 110 and 120-ish right there, or 125. And then when it comes to hue, if the hue equals to 0, it's white. And if the hue is around 250, it's like very bright blue. That's it. With that information, let me go ahead and open my spider IDE. Doesn't matter what IDE you work on. Uh, Okay, so down here, the link to the page I just showed you with the colors and HSV is right here. I'll include that as part of my uh, code. Again, link given below as part of the description. We are going to use matplotlib for plotting, Keras OCR for text detection, OpenCV for inpainting, math if we want to do any math, like divide, multiply, some stuff. NumPy, obviously, for, uh, again, handling these images. Okay, let's go ahead and run these lines, uh, importing Again, uh, this is the first time I'm importing Keras OCR, so it's kind of opening the right CUDA DLLs and all that because I have uh, I have GPU, NVIDIA GPU that I would like to leverage. Okay, now the general approach. Again, I talked about it the last uh, in the last video. Basically, we are detecting the text, and uh, when you do that, the Keras OCR gives you the bounding box dimensions: top left top right, bottom left, bottom right. And we want to go from left to the right with a thick line that actually paints, uh, in paints this image. And uh, so there are a couple of things that we need to figure out. One is where does the line start with, which is top left and uh, bottom left. Let's average it somewhere in the middle, right? And then the thickness of the line is what is the distance between those two. And then that's how uh, thick the line is. So that's uh, calculated by our midpoint function right there. So let's go ahead and run that, the, the midpoint itself. And then the segmenting the image part, right? So previously we did not have this. We just inpainted the entire 
uh, entire, uh, let's say, uh, region. Now we are going to select specific regions. So first, let's pre-segment the image. How do we do that? We are reading an image and converting the RGB image into HSV. Uh, space and then I'm defining that okay my orange let's use the same traffic light image from last uh, last week and uh, I'm going to say okay go from 10 to 35 let's go back to this page from 10 to 35 so that's like this orange shade as you can tell okay and uh, go from 25 to 255 so in the orange shade go ahead and pick any pixel that has a saturation of around 25 to 255 so i'm just looking at this band right here okay so that is what this line actually does and then i'm creating a mask and i'm thresholding it and i'm uh, I'm returning a thresholded mask. That's it. So that's how I'm segmenting. And by the way, you can use any segmentation. You can use unit segmentation if you want, uh, and then uh, and then follow the in painting process. We don't need to overkill this. That's why I'm just using HSV segmentation, like color spaces. But you can do any machine learning. It's up to your need and creativity uh, and craziness, I guess, if you want to overkill it. Okay, so this part is exactly from last week where we are in painting it. We are, uh, what, the bounding box and you're looking at these coordinates and then you're finding the midpoint and then you're defining the thickness of the line and then you're in painting it on your image. Uh, that's, that's pretty much what this uh, function does. So let's go ahead and run those lines and now let's go ahead and open our traffic signs and see if the orange lines are going to be removed so let uh, let's run the entire thing let me delete stuff here so let me delete the text removed and let's run this entire thing so we should see a new image called text removed underscore image we should see that any second so this is how the original image looks like and we selected the yellow pixel so hopefully the text from these regions will be gone uh, it's a bit slow there yeah there you go so we have let's minimize this so here you have the text wherever there is orange the text is gone including this traffic sign right there where it says 45 miles per hour the text is gone it's not gone like right there it didn't detect that text but you see how the green is completely untouched and I did another, I mean, we, you can play with this uh, image right here. Again, uh, you can select any color and this light white color right there and some of this region right here, if you can select and maybe this image is tricky. This one, if you select blue, it's not gonna work because this text is within red, that text is within yellow and maybe this text will work. In fact, I'm curious now. I thought that you should check it out yourself, but I haven't, uh, I, I did test it, but I haven't paid uh, close attention to this. So let's change my input image right here. And of course, in fact, I should have provided the color, the segmentation color as an input right there, but that's okay. Let us check that one. So this is going to be blue-ish shade. So let's run this and see how it compares. So let's open that one and let's put the segmented post segmentation uh, what's it doing looking for something okay it's done finally okay so here you can clearly see that the text from here is gone there is text right there if you can uh, you can zoom in and test it yourself and the text from this blue is also gone you see it says the maze will hobbs that text is also gone. This is not gone because that is some sort of a aqua color that we did not pick, right? So we did not pick the aqua color, but we could have extended that uh, to that color. If you look at this one, this is gone, that part, Robinson part is gone. And this text, it's kind of gone like right around there, but the red part is untouched. Now you can actually do multiple segmentations. You can say, okay, I want uh, uh, red and blue. So you can do multiple masks, right? So you can selectively remove the text. Anyway, I hope you learned something here. Very basic Python. We are not using any advanced machine learning, any of those tools. We are just using OpenCV, which is an amazing library for image uh, processing, image uh, cool tasks like these. Thank you guys. And uh, again, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the thanks button. Thank you.